When Alyssa was 12 years old, she heard the opening gunshots of the Russian Revolution from her apartment window in St. Petersburg. The idea shaping this revolution was that the individual must live for others, for the state, and sacrifice personal happiness for the good of the collective. Soon, Russia descended into a communist dictatorship. This was the beginning of 20th century totalitarianism, which eventually killed millions and millions of people in Russia, Germany, China, and elsewhere. But long before the perpetration of these atrocities, Alyssa was morally outraged by the very idea of collectivism, by collectivism's denunciation of the individual. She saw its essence as an attack on the most intelligent, able, and heroic among men. And to attack the heroic was to attack Alyssa personally. Uh, then the Russian Revolution was uh, February 1917. Then the Communist Revolution was the so-called October Revolution. And that was in, the, in that same year, October 17. Uh, we left in the fall of 1918. By that time, there was a civil war going on in the uh, south in the Ukraine and there were so-called white Russian armies um, we wanted uh, to get out uh, to escape communism simply and uh, father got a permit to travel on the ground that uh, my sister who had had pneumonia twice needed to go to the Crimea so that's how we managed to get out of Petrograd now that was in the fall of 1918 and we came back in 1921 by 21, uh, the civil war was over and the whole Russia was communist. I began to suddenly found myself, in effect, uh, asking a lot of whys in an abstract manner, but begin to define the reasons for what I believe. And then I realized that what I was now doing is, uh, is thinking in principle. Today I would say it was the process of integration, really, but that I wouldn't have known then. I think it, uh, it may not be irrelevant that that was the year of the start of the revolution. The first, the springboard for it was the fact that I was very much in sympathy with the February revolution. Uh, because, you know, it was the bloodless revolution where everybody was for freedom and the whole atmosphere. So, though it was in a kind of a sentimental, rational way, nevertheless, it was all the glorification of freedom. In my terms, it was the individual. But today I would call the rights of the individual. Of the individual. Why the individual's right? Why is it right for him to be free? Why is the strong, independent man important? By what right can anybody tell a man what he should do or what he should live for? And of course, then when the October Revolution happened, that uh, when my first uh, conviction began of a kind which I remember specifically concluding, the one that I mentioned in the preface to the living, that. Uh, uh, nobody has the right to tell men to exist for the sake of the state. The, the evil, which before that I would have called collectivism, although I wouldn't know the word, it would be the group, the herd, that kind of, of entity, now began to be statist, conscious. But as she grew to adulthood, Alyssa became increasingly aware that she had been born into a country whose culture and political system held in contempt the ideals of individualism she cherished. 